The 1994 elections ushered in a new democratic order in our country. The massive participation proved beyond doubt that the majority of South Africans across racial lines wanted peace and freedom and a peaceful transition from apartheid to a democratic order. Since 1994, Parliament of South Africa has passed a significant body of legislation, including the Constitution, that affords dignity to every South African and recognizes all are equal. The laws passed have improved the lives of South Africans. Great strides have been made in the struggle to emancipate South Africa from poverty, inequality and joblessness. However, much more still needs to be done. In its quest to follow up on its commitments to the people, the South African legislative sector, through the Speaker's Forum, appointed a panel in January 2016 to assess the effectiveness of key legislation passed by Parliament and provincial legislatures since 1994. As Speaker of the National Assembly, I have established an independent advisory panel on the acceleration of change and transformation. The panel is chaired by former President Kalima Mutlante and consists of eminent persons representing various sectors of society. The key purpose of the panel is to assess the efficacy of legislation against four identified areas. A, the triple challenges of poverty, unemployment and inequality. B, the creation of and equitable distribution of wealth. C, land reform, restitution, redistribution and security of tenure and D, nation building and social cohesion. The work of the panel affords the legislative sector the opportunity to assess past legislation in terms of the extent of implementation, the quality with regards to clarity and accessibility, its impact and whether the intentions of the legislation are being met. Well, the strength of the panel is that it is composed of individuals who come from the different sectors of society. The first thing that we must do is that where we are, we must spread the word. We must mobilize the stakeholders, inform them about the work of the panel and mobilize them to participate in the platforms. The fifth parliament, this is this current parliament, uh, in its uh, strategic plan, prioritized this assessment that a panel should be established uh, which would then uh, be tasked to or mandated to look, look into the uh, efficacy of legislation, the quality of legislation, the uh, implementation thereof, uh, as well as the lived uh, experience of South Africans of such legislation. The panel conducted its work through public consultations across the nine provinces that included public outreach and other research processes such as roundtable discussions, commissioned research from relevant organizations and experts, written submissions and desktop research. Anyone in the house can express themselves in the language of their preference because we have those interpretation devices. The experience we have in other provinces is that time runs out very quickly. And so if there are things that you would want to raise, I suggest you start noting them down. And if you don't have an opportunity to address them here, you can submit them into the tables that we have. The historical inequalities continue. Both public and private health professionals do not come to the party in terms of servicing and supporting schools with many welfare difficulties that they are faced with on a daily basis. As we go through the constitution, there's somewhere that us as normal people don't benefit from it. We're discussing and saying that there's, there's an act where they speak of uh, people who are thieves and all that, that if you kill them, you are at wrong. But this person is attacking you. Can it be reviewed? Can we be taught? Can we have workshops in the Constitution? General people must know what the Constitution is all about. The only rights we know is the ones that we use daily. If you abuse me, I will take you to the police. That's what we know. Yes, the education is a problem. Within Kimberley and the school of Hurini, the Kanarsa Hani School to me, as a school to Hanala Krini, the director of education at the Mount 
Hulle loop met die Mercedes Benz school. Wat die probleem is, ek het geseen met my eie kind. My kind en my sisters kan loop met die Mercedes. En met die Mercedes school kry hulle huiswerk elke dag. By my kindse school kry hulle huiswerk op een dag. Die hele Mets, English, Afrikaans, een dag en is een frustration om te kan leer soveel werk op die selde tijd. Die 77 jaar, Rewa ka utoka fete ka 2005. Mopa mpita tsuma tata runakia. Rukulota meji. Rukulota di tirer. Na hara santa atila. Na koyo ram hala di penchen. Nerasa kulote meji. Nerasa kulote di tirer. There are also positive attributes the law impacted our people. Lendo kuti iya sivuisa si lolundo kaku luku ground level because most of the time isi ndo is lord shabu si figele la only we politicians na we leaders na kagbu yelo peke kigemu ufuman se kendo bana isi ndo asikwa zufuma na tina ku ground level so si ibule la kaku le parliament tayi vule le opportunity yoko bana si zokwa zi umela inda uzi. We hear that this Khalima Mutlante, we, uh, we were extremely excited because we knew that he's a man on the ground who will take this forward for us as the whole uh, uh, nine provinces. Among the challenges presented, there is a serious challenge with the traditional leadership laws and the Land Act, which were common across the provinces. KZN is slightly different from other provinces in the sense that uh, in other provinces you have, you know, uh, when you look at the land question, for instance, uh, the, the land is, is owned by the state. And, and in this province, uh, <coughs> the Ngonyama Trust was uh, established. We've had a lot of people saying, as was said today, when the whites came, they didn't buy the land from us, so why should we have to compensate them to get the land back? So we've had broad questions of principle that address the legacy of dispossession and the inadequacy of current policy to really deal with that. But we've also had a lot of people coming and saying, I, have a, I put in a claim to restitution, I've waited this many years, uh, there's been no proper um, processing of my claim, or I put in a claim as a labor tenant, or I put in a claim as a farm worker. And so we're really looking at how specific laws have been implemented, how the budget for land reform has been spent, who it has benefited, and who's been left out, both in terms of class and race. And I think when we make recommendations, we're going to make them on the basis of specific findings about what's gone wrong in the implementation of the law, uh, and, and where the gaps are in the law, and whether certain laws should be repealed. But it's also that, that comment that was made that these were meant to benefit the people, and the way they're being implemented benefits politicians rather than the people. I think, you know, we, we're hearing a lot of stuff like that as to where, where are the resources attached to these laws ending up uh, compared with where they were intended to end up. There are issues on land reform that are worrying to all of us in South Africa who are involved in agriculture. And there's no denying that the restitution process or the land reform process has virtually stopped to function. And it is easy to put blame somewhere. You can blame this and you can blame government and you can blame this organization and that organization. But in the end, that is not going to serve any purpose. Muto se itega la o e mama start the mode o kopa di shide wa gente no wana di kokwantse di di wana ba ta bona bo tshelo fo no bo tsholo bo ya ba ne no yana ha 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 ontseba o sa tsheba te o sa tsheba bofofo o sebe botho ba ka pele ya le bo question is is the government the private sector organizations institutions and so forth ready to actually ensure that there is uh, equality. I would say that from the government point of view, they've set up
policies, laws, policies, and structures that are supposed to help to achieve equality. The question is, is it being implemented by all structures within the country? I do believe that we as South Africans, if we are prepared to ensure we have equality, all of us ought to be able to stand up and ensure that equality occurs. And we can do so clearly by ensuring that when we go to an educational institution, we demand good quality education because the good quality education is a base upon which we can be able to compete, you know, regardless of the race or the sex, the gender or, you know, locality. So if we have very good education, we ought to be able to compete equally. Data currently does show that um, there is a lot of inequality with regard to the quality of education that our people are actually getting. So I would argue that we all need to play a role. We cannot leave it up to government only. The government has passed the laws and policies, you know, and programs are there, structures are there to monitor. Now it's up to us. First and foremost, can I talk for a lot on this statement that we draw, the buttons elke keer say net as blacks, what suffer. Ons as the communities, ek voel ons word neglect en ek voel ons word afgeskep en overlook. Die second ding is unemployment. Ek is a jeugdige, ek het N6. Ek was daarom gelukkig om die NS vast basari te kry om verder te study. Ek het N6, ek kry nie werkie, hier is die internships, hier is die linnerships. Baie van die matrikulant in my community in. Ons is forst om by die mol te gaan werk. Baie van my mense is baie slim in my community, hulle het, hulle het baie skills en so aan. Maar ongelukkig, due to a shortage of resources, ons kan niks doen nie. Botokie boe neile maka. Rona, na ki fuma na penchele. En na ko di moha penchele ke kreyang. E tole ka e shotil. South Africa belongs to some and not everyone. You still do have in the news of Africa today colors, whites, black, and Indians. Then the question arises: Are we not all Africans? The lessons that uh, we draw from these outreach programs uh, are that you know uh, people share with us their lived experiences. Today, the panel has gone full circle with a comprehensive report to the Legislative Forum. The report will be presented at relevant forum and stages of the legislative sector as feedback to the people.